Welcome to another episode of The Wise Guys. I'm Kula Shakur. Right now with Diamond Cutter, a producer of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, so first off, I used to ask everybody, where, where, where you from? Are you from? I said from Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. I was um, I was born and raised here for the most part. Mm. Yeah. And what got you into music? Playing several different instruments. Yeah. Uh, since I was growing up. You in band? I ain't never getting a band. Uh, church. And, church. Um, Actually, I was in the band like one time. Uh, I played football all my life. Yeah. Um, but no time for band. Then. Nah, not <laughs> until I made them bad grades. Yeah. And then, so I ended up doing something until I can get my grades back up. Yeah. And then end up kind of doing a whole band season because it was fun. Yeah. So that, but that was just one time. So, you know, and when the grades got back up, I was there that spring okay. playing football. So you know, I but I had a little one time experience with band. Yeah. So I, it was it was fun it was what it was but I, it ain't for me like that yeah. yeah so so is it like did the the band help influence like how you make your your, your beats or was it not good? at all it didn't um to be honest it, it really didn't do too much of anything because uh whatever they was doing I had already was well, kind of doing it you know what I'm saying so yeah. what about was church to do. You say you, church, church is what did it yeah okay. church is kind of what put that major influence listening to different people like um like john p key uh, a local celebrity like jimmy hill um uh stuff like that man people like that really put a lot of influence kurt franklin um people like that yeah <laughs> put a little influence on me you know coming yeah. up but that pretty much it so so you think like do you think music has the power to like change the world oh definitely yeah yeah that's what's governing yeah, no, music is a universal language. It ain't math. It's music, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, maybe it's music. You, know, you can't teach math to an infant. Mm -hmm. But if you play music to an infant, they're going to bar their head. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. going to be able to identify with that. So, yeah, definitely. Music has the ability to influence. And if you can influence, you can change. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So so what is your, your process when you go in the studio and, and make that track? Do you... Do you gotta like drink or, or like what what do, you, what do you do to get in that mode to create? Um, no, I don't gotta smoke or drink or nothing, man. Um, it's just in me. A lot of times, I just look at the person or situation or how I'm feeling mm -hmm. and let it drive me. But um, for me, it's kind of easy to go off whatever the artist is feeling. I don't think that. A person should give anybody any kind of influence on what they feel and I'll have an input on what the artist might be feeling. You so know you, what I'm you you old school, you go in there, you making it from scratch with yeah, the artist. Okay, yeah, so I you, create it right yeah. then and there, you know, I got you. and then uh, you know, tell them make it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no buying off the rack. Yeah. You know, I can have ten beats and now you can form to do what it is I've already done on my feeling. That might not be your feeling. Yeah. So I wanna know what you feeling right now, right now, and I make it right now. Gotcha. Yeah. So what um can you share a moment when like an artist came through and and he inspired like you you all in there making the music and then he just inspired you to like put the extra, you know what I'm saying, into it and it turned out uh all of them. That's that's usually how it works. Yeah. Uh, the last one that I did like that and everything went good, and now um, was um, with um, Baby Soldier and Golden Key. Mm -hmm. So um, with Golden Key, we did a lot of, um, you know, we kind of went out of town, in and out of town, vibed a little bit or whatever, but the magic ain't coming until he rapped something, and I heard it, and I put music to it. And, yeah. And that's, that's the, uh, you know, that's the song we got now. Um, he got out with Baby Soldier. Uh, stop playing. Yeah. So that's the, actually how that was great. He started rapping. Mm -hmm. I played behind it. We looked at each other. Said that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we put it together. And that's it. You, they shot a video for that too. Did, what, did you uh, mm -hmm. stop by the video shoot? Yeah, I was actually in it. I was in it for yeah. a little while. Well, uh, what spot you was in on the video? Uh, when you go, when you look at the video, and he outside, and he actually rapping by all the calls or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm to I guess if you're looking at the screen I would be to the left Yeah You know So I'm like the lightest dude Out there You know what I'm saying <laughs> So you ain't gonna be able to miss me But it's just Glimpse You know I don't really care to 
being a lot of videos, cameos is fine, but I don't want to just yeah. be staring at nobody's video. Yeah. Kind of like that background. So, you, know, you just feeling you had to go to this one, you said. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was asked to go, you know, but it was cool. I don't yeah. mind doing that. Anything I do something for, man, I, I, um, I show support, which yeah. is what Puff Daddy used to do. Now, he used to light the limelight, so it's a little different. Yeah. But I like people to know that not only did I do this track, I endorsed it. So yeah. I stand behind it. So yeah. that's why when you see me in the video, that's what that mean to me. Yeah. And no, I'm just asking because, you know, yeah, like you said yeah. you ain't really be in no the I got, I like this song, so I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, I like it, all the songs I yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do, is, I, I got to like it. It's yeah. going, you know, so. so you ain't putting out nothing. No, I'm you. not even dealing with anybody who, if I think that maybe you're not ready from a track, yeah. uh, if I can't help you, which is very rare. Ain't no need of me even really deal, dealing with it because it's just gonna kind of end up being bad anyway. So yeah, no, nah, I got really you. Ain't trying to force it. I like no, that, no. I like that. that's all the really that old school shit. Really, yes, when, sir. When it comes to really the whole your whole system sound like if you keeping yeah. it the way it's supposed to be and how yeah, the music man, really that's good. the only way, man. That's the vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got to be like that. And you know, I can have some stuff ready, but I, I'd rather not do that. So who all can you name off some of the artists you work with as far as um, that you produce for? Uh, just to name a few, I work with um, uh, John Weeks, the Kodak Black brother. I work with Sniper Gang. Um, was supposed to have been working with Jack Boy. Yeah. Um, uh, did a song for Chaotic. Uh, just to name a few from Love and Hip Hop Miami. Um, yeah. uh, Baby Soldier, of course. Uh, a couple of other ones in there. I did um, Diddy Westbrook. Um. For Jaguars, number twelve for the Jaguars. Yeah, he has an artist. Of, the, of course, they signed the Young Money, mm. so he's in my. I did. Um, I did his old album that's coming out. Yeah. It's gonna be dope. Yeah, that's dope. That's what I was gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. My next question was gonna be. Uh, when, what was the last album that you heard recently that was like flawless production wise? You know what I mean? That so it can be. Uh, it can be big artists or a local, or whatever. Like. Um. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah. You know, um Drake make good music, man. Yeah. Um Forty, I think that what forty is is uh, Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. You know, I I I I don't know, man. Um I like a lot of meat you stuff. You like that uh like that, that Ross like his production is on his last well I've always liked Ross production. He kinda disappointed me a little bit, um, at first because he named it. Uh, Port of Miami too Yeah So naturally for me I'm thinking Oh I'm finna get Yeah The rendition <laughs> of that number one Then he hit me with the Maybach shit I said well Yeah like, He ain't just dang that So you know what I mean But teach his own But 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 it's still a hot album Yeah It's just uh, You gotta be careful when You put an expectation on something Or people put an expectation on something And then it don't come out The way you might think Yeah Then it's like Oh Cause man Cause he ain't gonna wanna hit it next week Exactly like, I don't know Cause yeah. you just hit me with the yeah, too. That's yeah, supposed to be the yeah, thing. Yeah, that was supposed to be the thing. Yeah, then man. whatever you dropped after that, I'd be listening. Yeah, to it, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. But I'm a Ross. I'm a huge Ross fan, yeah. man. I got stuff from a tank right now that I got on for Ross waiting on Ross. I got a lot of things in play I can't talk about, but yeah. oh man, big plays. Raw Wade, Rick, Rick Ross, um, Meat Mills. Hold on. I, I just think with Ross, it was like I think he worked with a lot of different producers too, because it, it sounds good on some of the track, but just someone kind of threw me off. I guess the production. So yeah, kind of well, I mean, yeah, on, on this album he may have, yeah, but I know that that sound he's still working with them boys on yeah. that sound, that same Maybach sound. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, who you who you feel is carrying the torch right now as far as artists for Florida? Oh man, because I know oh, Flo man. Florida is like the hub right now for artists. Like it was mm -hmm. Atlanta, but now it's like for sure. Well, who who who's doing the numbers? Okay. Is uh Osiris okay? Osiris so definitely doing the numbers. Um, Chameleon is a very talented artist, yes, sir. I think. I think if anybody had the ability to um go above and beyond, she would be one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tokyo is an amazing artist, you know, yes, sir. I would love to see her get back to some gutter, shit, you know, because her style of rapping. Yeah, is not a commercial style. She doesn't has to. She don't have to conform to a commercial style. The audience will come to her. Gotcha. Because she one of the most gutter rapping. Yeah. She be, you know, and and I think until she grabbed that sound back, she you know it might be a little 
struggle there. Mm-hmm. But um, but um, she is definitely, you know, she is definitely the wave. Yeah. And a lot of artists, man, Trap Beckham doing this thing. Um, oh man, it's a lot of uh, local artists, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't fucking off, bro. Yeah. Do you think it's it's easier to get in the rap game, like compared to, uh, you know, what I'm saying the old ways of getting in? I mean, of course we all know it's easy, but well, what do you think about the way it's going as far as artists is coming in and dropping music and it ain't quality? I think a lot of people do the same thing. It becomes a new standard. Okay. So a lot of people are not uh, worried about the mix and, and, and what it sound like. And I think if you continue to have a lot of people doing that, it's going to become the new standard. People are going to stop caring about it. Yeah. People getting mastered now by an app. Yeah. I mean, uh, that was app. the number one thing that you knew. You knew you had to pay five grand yeah. <laughs> to get the master, no matter what you did in your house, no matter what equipment or software you had. You knew you had to pay for somebody to master. Now, nah. yeah, you know, you got all kind of tools and software that'll master it for you, even twenty five dollars. So that's the new standard. App, man. Yeah, you man. E Master is one of them. Oh man. Yeah, E Master. Um. Uh. Uh. R. R. I forgot the. Uh, Landar. Mm-hmm. Landar is another one. Damn. And uh yeah, man, they they mastering stuff, man. You ain't gotta go to the people no more, man. <laughs> I remember it's that changing. nigga. Nigga get that single. I mean, I gotta get this thing mastered. Yeah, sensor, man. Radio. Yeah, exactly. You can do all that, man, with a click. You know, yeah. so it's different. So I think it's pretty good. Any uh advice I usually ask people always for giving other people advice who mm-hmm. coming up in the game as far as whatever you do. So you're a producer, any uh advice for the upcoming producers? Um, stay diligent. Don't stop. Yeah. You know, give the people what they want, but don't be scared to make what you like. Okay. You know, music is art, and art makes sense. Don't have to make sense to anybody but the artist. Mm-hmm. And uh, you keep doing your thing. People gonna tell you if they fucking with it or not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just stay doing what you're doing, man. Don't stop. That what you want to do? Don't stop. Gotcha. And what can they find you at? Uh, I am Diamond Cut on IG, um, which is really what I'm on all the time. And uh, Twitter is I am Diamond Cutter. And uh, my Snapchat, I believe, is I am Diamond Cutter. But I'm hardly on Snapchat. So <laughs> yeah. the only thing I'm really rocking with right now is um, uh, IG. Yeah. So, yeah, you can follow me on IG at I am Diamond Cutter.